This is David Hoffmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Chapter 6, Section 17, Christ Mind Interview. Friend, what for you is Christ Mind? David, it is a vast, vast experience of unconditional agape love. Nothing else in mind but that love and the expression of that love. Not of this world. To me, Christ mind is even beyond a unified field. It is so vast that it transcends perception. It transcends what for centuries has been called matter. In quantum physics, the unified field is completely overthrowing the laws of Newton. The behavior of objects, the physics, etc. I would say that the quantum physics term observer is the closest that we come to Christ mind in this world, which is vast love, one with the Creator. Friend, tell us more about this witness or observer in the context of Christ mind what it actually is and how people can enter into that. David, I would say that Jesus was a demonstration of this witness self or this observer. He said things like, Before you remove the speck out of your brother's eye, remove the log or the beam out of your own. He was talking about perception. He was talking about distortion in perception. Friend, are you saying that the witness is clear perception without any distortion? David, yes, the witness is clear seeing. It is total all-inclusive seeing. And even that is not the Christ vision. That is only the gateway. I was doing an open-eye meditation once with someone sitting across from me and I got so deep in my mind that the figure, ground, the three-dimensionality collapsed. It started to look like a painting, then just a flimsy veil. And all of a sudden, this amazing light started streaming through it and the veil started to disappear. Perception was just a veil drawn over this vision. I got a glimpse into the vision of Christ which was this blazing light that was non-perceptual. I could tell that the ego was terrified of that light and more than anything of losing control of the picture. I had a real taste of the vision of Christ, the abstract light that is beyond the veil. Since I had experiences like that, I knew that my whole life would be dedicated to that light. Friend, so the witness is the gateway to the vision of Christ, which is a blazing light? How can people who are reading this start to access that gateway? David, Yes, 
these people have to be authentic. We were just talking about holding on to the mask of spirituality or holding on to differences such as emphasizing one teaching over another, comparing, contrasting. All of that needs to come up into awareness. Emotionally, you can feel it. It does not feel like joining. It does not feel like joy and happiness when there is a my way or a your way because there are still preferences. I would say the most striking characteristic of the witness self is that it has no preferences. It is all-inclusive. It is so aware of the unity in the unification that it does not prefer this or that. All is equally acceptable to the witness self. Friend, it is very interesting because when I look at someone for a few minutes, they just dissolve completely like there is nothing there and it all becomes like a dream. So the witness becomes the actual experience or tangible seeing of the dream. So what is the dream? David The dream is a group of images just like when you go to sleep at night. They are all generated by the ego. There seems to be a lot of emotions associated with them, like being chased, there is a monster or a tsunami wave coming to get you. The dream is meant to take the place of abstract light. The dream is the veil. The key is not to judge the dream as good or bad. The key is is to come as the observer, the dreamer, the witness, to see it as a dream while not identifying with the dream figure. As soon as the mind identifies with the body, then it identifies with the figure in the dream. And then we have the split within the dream, the perception of the subject and the object, the perceiver and the perceived. Really, the whole dream is the perceived and there is no perceiver. The witness self knows this. It knows that the dream is unified. There are really no believers and non-believers. No one who has it and others who do not have it. No enlightened ones or ignorant ones. In the witness self, everything and everyone is lit up because everything is unified. You will never hear a spiritual teacher who is truly enlightened saying, I have it and you do not because immediately there is duality there. What you will hear from an enlightened teacher is, Come you who are weary, judge not. Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. I and the Father are one. Before Abraham was, I am. This is the witness self. This is the gateway. That is why I speak often of forgiveness. Not to forgive somebody for wrong, wronging you. Not to make the grievance real. What is important is coming to a moment of humility when you realize that everything that occurred was perfect. No sense of victimization. No one was harmed. 
in the witness self attack is seen as impossible. It never was the case that anybody was mistreated. It never was true that anyone was harmed. In the witness self, there is no attack. 